It's Craftmas day number three and we are making some outdoor Christmas decor with the help of our Cricut. So uh, let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants. And today y'all, we are diving back into the Craftmas Ultimate Mega Mystery Box. Let the crowd go wild, y'all. If you got your hands on this box, you all know just how jam packed it has been with so many options so many projects and today we are diving into the garden flag project now we will be using one of the exclusive svg cut files from the box as well so not only did you get a ton of materials tons of options tons of projects but y'all also got tons of design files to use for those projects if you decide to do so this being one of them right here now again i designed all of these these are like free like bonus files that came with the box but i am obsessed with this one that says believe in your elf Get it? Like, believe in yourself. Get it? Anyways, so we are putting this onto our garden flag, which is this right here from the Mega Mystery Box, the ultimate Mega Mystery Box. Now, let me say this real quick, that if you don't want to use this design, don't feel like you have to. I want you all to do you. Like, you do you, boo. Whatever floats your boat and whatever tickles y'all's a pickle. Uh, we will also be using some StarCraft Softflex HTV. Now, can I have like a, a small like confession? Like just like just between you and me, right here, right now. Don't tell anyone this. This is my own like guilty pleasure. Alright. I secretly love it. Actually, no. I secretly live for it. When I am like constantly telling people that StarCraft HD permanent vinyl and the StarCraft Softflex HTV, like their heat transfer vinyl, I'm constantly saying that that stuff is the best stuff on the market. People don't believe they can really be the best stuff on the market when it's also so freaking inexpensive. When they finally come to that realization and they post about it in the, in the Cricut Crafting Community Facebook group, which is linked down below, by the way, I just love it. Like I live for it because I love people saving money. I'm all about that. So we're using the StarCraft Softflex in these colors for this project. But again, you do you boo, whatever colors you want to use. Um, we'll also be using obviously our Cricut and a easy press. Or you could use like an actual heat press. Or even for this, you could get by with like a household iron as well. So we'll be doing that. So let's go ahead and hop over here to Cricut Design Space. The first thing that we really need to do is kind of measure out our garden flag. We want to know exactly how big to size our design here. All right, so we're looking at around 16 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. So what we can do now is come over here to Cricut Design Space, come over here to where it says shapes, and we're going to open up a square. Now the square is going to serve as a template for our garden flag. It's going to be like a digital representation of our real life garden flag. So let's go ahead and come up here right up here where it says size. And the first thing we wanna do is click on this little padlock to unlock those proportions. So that way we can go in here and put in our own dimensions and um, have a different dimension or a different size for the width and the height. So for that width, we said 11 and a half, so 11.5. And for the height, we said 16.5. Hit enter, there we go. Let me go ahead and right click it, click on send it back. All right, so our design here it's pretty good to go. Now I did size these to fit onto our, our, our garden flags here. However, I did want you all to kind of get an idea of how to resize it because sometimes Cricut Design Space can be a little weird, a little wonky, and bring in y'all's designs at completely different sizes. It can be all over the board. So I wanted y'all to know exactly how to go about doing that. Or maybe you didn't want to use a garden flag design at all and maybe use a different design period that's how you will resize it for the garden flag itself so we don't need this template anymore we can go ahead and delete that out and then come up here to the top right and click on make it now i did create these designs i designed all these designs so that we're going to be saving some materials so as you can see here here's like the top of the hat here's his little shoes um then over here we have like the little the rim of his hat the pom-pom and the little pom-poms for his shoes as well and then we have where it says believe in your elf. So that's basically how everything's laid out. But since we are working with StarCraft Softflex HTV, and really this is the case for like 99.9% .9 of HTV, we need to go in here and mirror our design. So let's go click on the mirror option and then we'll click on this other mat. We'll click mirror for that and then for the green as well. All right, so from there, let's go ahead and come down here to the bottom right and click on continue. Now, as far as the cut settings go for the StarCraft Softflex HTV, 
I like to use the everyday iron on cut setting. However, do a test cut, a small little test cut to make sure that that's gonna work out for you and your machine, your blade, your materials. Now with the StarCraft Softflex HTV, and it seems like quite a few types of HTV does have like a, a shiny glossy side that is the carrier sheet. So let me show you what a carrier sheet basically is in case you don't know. Here is our actual HTV. And here is like our clear plastic carrier sheet. Hopefully you can see that right there. That is basically what's gonna hold our entire design together. And that is actually gonna go face down onto our cutting mat. The reason why we have to go in here and mirror all of our layers is so that basically once it actually cuts in through the back side of the HTV and we weed it out, it'll basically be like the right side facing forward. Like if that makes sense. Now with that being said, I did go ahead and have this all cut out and weeded out and ready to go. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. All right, so here we go with all of our different layers. So we got Believe in Your Elf, his little hat and shoes, and then his little hat as well, and the little pom-poms. Now, as you can see, it did kind of cut out all together with the way it was designed, but that's super easy. We can just go in here with some scissors and then basically kind of uh, cut out the pieces that are supposed to be separate that way we can kind of like piece them in whenever we need to. So I cut out these little circles right here because that'll go on each of his little shoes and then his hat, the rim of his hat with a little pom-pom is digging together. And then for the actual main portion of the hat, that's gonna be together and then his shoes will be staying together as well. It is just that simple y'all, like so freaking easy. All right, so since I am using an easy press, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my Cricut easy press mat and Let's go ahead and lay out our garden flag as well. Now for the StarCraft Softflex HTV, we are gonna go ahead and set this at a temperature of 285 degrees. And basically we'll be applying each of these layers or typically you would apply a layer down for eight to 10 seconds. But since we are applying down multiple layers, we're gonna do the tech method, which I'm gonna show you more about here in just a second. I'm also gonna come in here and go ahead and preheat our flag. And to do that is basically just to get all the moisture out because moisture and HTV, they don't get along too well. We're also kind of just preheating the fibers, we're getting the wrinkles out, and basically going ahead and pre-shrinking the fabric as well, which is very important because you do not want it to shrink up after the HTV is being applied to it. Now, whenever applying down really permanent vinyl or HTV, in most cases, I wanna go ahead and apply down the largest part first. So I'm gonna put the Believe in Your Elf smack dab in the center. And if you kinda of wanna get an idea of how it's all gonna look once it's all pieced together, you can go ahead and just kinda of lay it out like so. You wouldn't wanna press it like this, obviously, but it just kinda of gives you an idea of how to do all the positioning. All right, I think that's all gonna look really good. I actually might scoot this down just a pinch more though. All right, so I think that right there should do the trick. Now with the tacket method, Again, the whole purpose of doing the tacket method is just to get enough heat onto the HTV so that it heats up that adhesive and it sticks down to the fabric below it. We do that for multiple reasons. One reason is so that we don't actually degrade the adhesive by applying too much heat for too long. We also wanna go ahead and kind of basically apply the HTV, but do it quick enough so that it doesn't shrink up. So every time you apply HTV or pl apply heat to HTV, that layer of HTV is gonna shrink up a little bit and we wanna minimize that as much as possible. You will also need a cover sheet. I like to use a Teflon sheet. Parchment paper will do the trick though as well. And then we can go in here and just apply this down for just a couple seconds. So one 1,000 to 1,000. Just make sure that you kind of go slowly in peeling this off, just in case something is wanting to peel up with it. That way you can kind of go back in there and apply more heat without, you know, ruining the HTV that's wanting to peel up. All right, now let's go in here with our little elf shoes. And really, since we're going to be doing a layer down here, we can go ahead and let's go ahead and piece together a layer up here as well. All right, so now we can cover this back up and then tack it down again, just for a few seconds. All right, so now for one of the last layers, we'll do like the green up here. And then we can also go in here with our two little dots for down here on his shoes. All right, so now we can go in here, apply down the heat, just a couple seconds for the bottom, and then I'll do a couple seconds up here for the top. Go ahead and peel off that carrier sheet again. And now what I like to do 
is go back in here with the Teflon sheet or parchment paper or whatever you're using and then hit it with the heat again for around eight seconds or so. Basically apply the full amount of heat needed to all the layers at once. I mean, this is big enough where I'm actually gonna do this in two parts. So you go on here and then we'll come up here and do it again. And it really is just that easy. Hey, thank you so much for watching this special Craftmas episode. Don't forget to stamp that subscribe button and also ring that little bell for all the notifications so that y'all don't miss out on a single cricket or crafty minute. I love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty.